everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in The Sims 4, we are making five university students and I did build a duplex for them. Well, they live on one side of the duplex. Basically in my head, I'm thinking like on the left side, there's the professor and then on the right side is a bunch of college students. And yeah, I'm pretty sure they probably hate living next to each other and everything that has to be the worst, but I think we should introduce The Sims. So this sim is neat, um, they also love the outdoors, they're jealous, they have the nerd brain aspiration, and I was thinking they were gonna major in biology to be a doctor, so I named her Chloe Green, so I gave her like a lot of green in her outfits because I thought that was nice, and yeah, hopefully I don't have like face same, or what? Face same, same face syndrome I guess, basically, so hopefully they don't really look alike. Um, I will say I do have like a base sim that I start with so like they don't have any accessories on they don't have any clothes so that way I can just you know get started and all of them I did change because I don't know I just I feel like that would have took longer if I were to like change them up on camera so they all look how they're gonna look now and yeah so there's kind of a story between these students well really I say students but like Really, I have one story in my head and it's just between two students and not really all of them. Um, but I guess I can get, or should I just introduce all of them first? Part of me wants to like introduce them as we do the outfits, but like we're not going to get there in like enough time, I guess. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's going to take a while before we get to the last sim and then like I may not even be able to like tell my full story if we wait until then. So I guess I'll introduce the other sims. Um, I probably should have wrote their name down. So, okay. After we are done like fur or furnishing, no, dressing up Chloe, we move on to the loner sim who is majoring in fine arts to be a stylist. They like the color yellow. And I believe I named them, honestly, I have no, no, their name is Destiny Ortega. That's their name. Okay. I'm sorry. And then we have our self-absorbed drama major. She likes the color pink and she wants to be an actress. And her name is Rin Banks, Rin Willow Banks. I did put like a middle name in there for her. And we also have our messy computer science major. They like the color blue and they want to be a freelance programmer. Their name is something filled. Um, Holly filled. Her name is Holly filled. Okay, this is embarrassing. Like trying to watch me remember these Sims names. And then lastly, we are um, going to be, I want to, I keep wanting to say like decorating, furnishing, no. Lastly, we're going to dress up our genius sim who is majoring in psychology. They want to be a detective and they like the color purple. And their name is, I know it's good. No, it's not. Is it? No, their name is Brooklyn Banks. And yeah. And you might be wondering, oh, like, are the Banks related? No, they're not. But we're going to get into that when we bring up the lore. So I probably should get started. And I guess I'll use their names. Even though I kind of prefer to use their major. Or I could use their color. I don't know. Because, like, the names are still pretty new to me. But basically, in my head. Oh, we're working on Destiny now. That's good. Destiny Ortega. Honestly, honestly, before we get started with the lore, I'm so sorry, but like she's the stylist and her outfits might be a little bit out there. Same with like the actress, because I don't know, I was trying to do something different with my outfits. Like, I don't know. I feel like I usually go for like the basic outfits and something that obviously goes together or something I put together before. I wanted to try something different. Um, so I tried that with a few of her outfits or maybe just a couple. I don't know. Um, it depends. But like, yeah, it took me two hours and nine minutes, I believe, to make these sims. So actually, no, it took me two hours and 30 minutes. Wow, that's a lot of time. Um, anyways, I guess I should get started. I can't keep saying I'm going to get it started on the lore and then not get started. Oh my gosh. So basically, Destiny 
and Brooklyn were friends before the school year. I believe in the summer, maybe they did something together. Maybe they did some charity work together. And I feel like maybe Brooklyn's parent made them do that because I don't know their traits are awful um Brooklyn is evil mean and a genius and as you see now Destiny is a loner she's socially awkward so I assume like maybe she did this charity event to just get out there I guess and out of her comfort zone um so yeah anyway so yeah they became friends over the summer um, when they moved in, there was like four bedrooms, right? So technically the actress did not move in right away like with the other students because in my head I'm like, oh, maybe the school had to move in a week early so that way they could like get used to being on campus and get used to like getting around campus during the week. So yeah, um, the actress wasn't there the whole time until the last weekend before school started. Or the weekend before school started, I guess. And yeah, I decided they were friends. And during the first week, like maybe on Monday when they moved in, they were like, oh, we can share a room. That will be so fun, right? Like that will be so amazing. And you know, um, Brooklyn being the way she is, like she's mean, she's evil, right? So she was trying to find out like a new way to gain some money around campus. So she was like, oh, wait a minute, maybe I can like hack into the school and get all the exam answers to all of the exams for every single class. So that's what she did. So she started working on it on her laptop and everything. And yeah, she started selling them in an alleyway. And um, basically she would hand them these exam papers and they would have like a clear or transparent watermark that had Destiny's name all over it. Um, and a receipt, which also had Destiny's name all over it. So, yeah, and then, you know, basically, the professor next door sees a receipt of this stuck in his kid's bike. I assume the professor is a his, or a him, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just gonna say, I haven't made the professor, I don't know if I want to, to be honest with you, because I don't think it's that important. I don't know, because, like... I, okay, after I tell the story, I would figure out, I would figure that, you know, Destiny wouldn't really like, would really like the professor that much, but yeah, so the professor obviously knocked next door, asked for Destiny, and he was like, oh, can we take a walk? And then, yeah, they took a walk to the dean's office, the dean came out, he was like, oh, do you guys need something? And the professor goes like, well, I found this receipt of like I guess what was sold which was all the exams at least that's what it said um I guess yeah like it had like f you need 12 classes right so maybe like it had like 12 names of different classes with all the exam answers on it and yeah so um Destiny being the loner and socially awkward person she is when he made this claim she was shocked she didn't know what to say she was kind of like oh my gosh like she couldn't get the words out that she wanted to say and <laughs> um anyways telling this story is so weird I'm so sorry because right now I'm trying to go off of memory because I did write it down but like I don't have it up at the moment um so yeah and then Nadine is like um are you sure and he was like well this is just I don't know I figure she's probably this type of person trying to score points with the other students like I don't know she's all by herself all the time usually so maybe that's her thing or whatever and the dean goes well destiny do you want to clear up your name or anything and she's like I didn't do it I promise so we're working on Ren Willow now she's the actress I'm sorry I thought I would just tell you that um she's a mass she wants to be a master actress I guess she's self-absorbed high maintenance and outgoing anyways I'm sorry back to the story <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's like, I didn't do it, I promised. And he was like, oh, well, you need to tell us who did or else you're going to be in big trouble for this. And basically she goes, I imagine she stutters while she's trying to get it out. 
So she's like, I, um, I, um, or I was going to say psychology did it. No, Brooklyn. She has a name. Brooklyn did it basically. And then the professor is like shocked. He's like, oh wow, you would tell on your only best friend? Or not tell, but like you would blame, you would accuse your only best friend. This receipt has your name all, written all over it. And honestly that's kind of stupid because like why would you put your own why would you even put a watermark anyways like you're not gonna tell on yourself like that but anyways that's what the professor said um and she's like no it's not me why would I put my name on that um and she's like I promise it was Brooklyn I saw her working on it on her computer but she sh shut it so fast before I could really see what it was it must have been this so the did so the dean dismissed the professor and they and I guess Destiny and the dean walked over to the house and the dean asked for Brooklyn. Brooklyn came out. They had their laptop with them. They met up in the dean's office again and he's like, "So, it came to my attention that you were selling exam answers. All of them." And she's like, "No, why would I do that? Not me." Um, yeah, so obviously she denied it and then he asked for her laptop and she was like, um, no, I'm not giving you my laptop. And then he was like, well, it is a borrowed laptop from the school, so you have to bring it over or I will have you escorted basically. So like she couldn't live there anymore because like I imagine it's like a schoolhouse or whatever anyways are I guess a school duplex but yeah so she hands it over she puts her head on the desk and he goes yeah as I thought or I guess I don't know and then he demissed destiny and yeah she was waiting outside um she was I imagine she was like probably scared the whole moment because obviously she told on her friend or who she thought was her friend and also, like, while we're doing Rin, I was thinking that, like, um, I was thinking Destiny helped her out with her outfits. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Um, <laughs> I apologize. So, basically, the Dean is, like, pacing back and forth, not knowing what to do. And in the Dean's head, right, he thinks Brooklyn Banks has this big, amazing, rich father who obviously or I guess who um donates to the school so like he gives us big money I guess to the school um so he's like I can't expel her like the higher ups would be very mad if he did that so like he in his head is like I don't know what I should do and then he's like okay fine you can stay but you will be working on the weekends to help the cafeteria members are the commons I guess to clean up and that was the agreement she walks out with the smirk destiny basically pulls her aside and was like how could you do that to me I thought we were friends and she was like yeah you thought and she just walked away and in my head destiny probably decided to go back home for the weekend or not the weekend but like for the rest of the week because she was like oh my gosh I can't believe this I'm so upset I don't even want to be in the same places you right now so in my head when destiny gets back you know she's getting all her stuff out of i guess um brooklyn's room and um yeah she's getting all her things out she's ready to move into the open room out or downstairs i guess um if you don't know the build i probably should leave it in the end card for you to watch after um but yeah, so when she's trying to open the door, like she realizes like, oh, there's a lot of people in here. And then one of them is the dean. He comes out and says, oh, well, we have a new student living here. So you're going to have to bunk with someone else. And he was like, maybe you can bunk with Chloe. So that's what she did. She was a little upset. And yeah, the dean kind of went through a very rough night on Saturday um so this is before Destiny got back so in my head he got a phone call from one of his one of the school's biggest co contributors I guess um and yeah he was like I guess the contributor the rich father was like hey my daughter has enrolled in your school or whatever um kind of late I guess but or I say enroll but like 
I guess maybe they did enroll, but like they just didn't get an answer yet. So he just called, assuming, you know, they can accept her early. Um, but yeah, so they basically moved in very late. Um, and you know, the principal on the phone was kind of confused because like, isn't your daughter already going here? And he's like, no, of course not. Um, I didn't even get a chance to make sure the school is running how it should be and looks how it should be. Um, and yeah, so he was a little confuzzled. And he was like, so you don't have a daughter named Brooklyn? He's like, no, why would I name my daughter to that? And yeah, so comes to find out the principal or the dean, I guess, the dean is the right word, is like kind of confused. Like, oh, I thought, you know, Brooklyn was your daughter or whatever, or whatever. He's not on the phone anymore. I'm so sorry. I'm so weird about telling stories. <laughs> I don't really know how to go about them. It feels weird. Anyways, um... So yeah, he was kind of, kind of, I guess, confused on what to do. And he realized he couldn't really do anything because um, in The Sims, this is The Sims 4, I, can't, I don't know. Anyways, so like the school got a new, um, I guess you could say manual, like I don't know, of rules, I don't, I don't know. Um, and basically they added two new rules. One being that there cannot be any shared bedrooms. So the next day he kind of broke that rule by allowing that daughter to stay here already when there wasn't enough room, the actress. Um, oh, also this, this brings up a good thing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the video. Um, but as I was trying to say, oh, now we're working on Hollyfield. She's a computer with slob, geek, and foodie. I'm sorry. And... Oh my gosh, I can't keep like stopping myself from telling the story. But yeah, like so he broke one of the rules and the other rule was once you tell a student something, you can't take it back. So be very so be very careful of what you say. And yeah, he already told Dest or not Destiny, but he already told Brooklyn that oh, she can stay. She's not expelled, but she does have to clean up the cafeteria on the weekends. So he can't take it back. He couldn't like kick her out now because he already said it so yeah so hopefully he's not in too big trouble with the school and yeah that's basically the end of the story um I did cheat some of their relationships I guess like I don't think they're that close but I feel like Destiny has gotten closer to Chloe since they have been staying together and um yeah she has basically bad relationship with Brooklyn so that is awful but what I was thinking when I was making Rin for her cold weather wear I used some I used an outfit from seasons and for some reason the season outfits don't come up as cold weather wear when they should because like you I know it's like a rain jacket but like you can wear that during the cold season like be for real um I don't know why it doesn't show up it's so weird um and then when I was making Holly I don't know if you caught this, it's kind of, it's probably better if I mention the stuff when it actually is going on and happening, but with one of the high school years hair, it's like messed up. Like the one with the headband, on the back of it, I think there's like a strand of hair and it just, it, I don't know, it is, is brown, like it's a different color from what her hair should be, which is black. Um, and then one, a part of it was just brown. Like, I, I don't know. That was kind of confusing. It was kind of weird. Um, I will say, but yeah, I also give them likes and dislikes as well. So when you download that, you can check it out. And I also did cheat some of their skills because some of them needed to have a distinguished degree because all of them go to Brightchester because that's where I built the duplex. And I thought I built the duplex in like the middle part but I didn't so that wasn't gonna work and yeah I also yeah I cheated their skills and I also put them into university um it might be a while before I upload them or it won't be that long because I just have to take all my mods out because for some reason when I tried to upload them to the gallery it said it has cc but I didn't use any custom content so hopefully I don't have to like redo all the skills and like all the cheating to get into university again because that would be very annoying. 
I don't know. I feel like me probably going into live mode and like, I don't know, maybe cheating their skills with like, um, UI cheats. I don't know. Like, it's so weird. I don't think that should make them custom content. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Anyways, it's probably best to do this type of thing first. Or I guess it's best to do this when you take all your CC and mods out so there's like n no issues I guess but yeah um they're not all that close um I think Brooklyn is trying to get closer to Holly because they are on the same floor and you know she already got rid of I guess um Destiny so now she's looking for a new target and I didn't do like a voiceover for their side of the townhouse just because like I guess I was on limited time and I was like I don't really want to do a voiceover right now or edit a voiceover but um for Brooklyn's room I gave her like all the reaper rewards that I won so far and yeah I don't know oh we're working on her now so Brooklyn Banks sh did I say destiny again I feel like I did but no I'm talking about Brooklyn I gave her all the reaper rewards I gave her the bike and yeah she wants to be a public enemy she's evil mean and a genius as i said before and she likes the color purple so that's the color we go for she has a glasses which i like and yeah i don't really know um um yeah anyways so in her room she has like a little hangout space and i put the drink tray from the backyard pack and in my head that's how she kind of lures people in and get them to tell her all of their darkest secrets and etc. So right now she's trying to lure in Holly, unfortunately. Um, you would think they would know about the situation that happened between her and Destiny, but who knows? Maybe maybe um Holly isn't having it or believes it or is like, hmm, I'm not sure or whatever. Cause like, you know, they're all new here. Um so yeah, anyways, we don't really have much to talk about today. I'm supposed to be posting this on Tuesday, actually. So the day that I'm recording this is the day I'm going to be posting it or supposed to be posting it. I'm kind of conflicted because I'm like, should I record like for the update or should I not record for the update? I feel like it would be very smart of me to record the update or the patch that's coming out today. I never did that before, I don't think. I think I did, but it was like a very short video. And yeah, I don't know, I would like to do it. So maybe this will be posted tomorrow. Um, That will be good. I will say like, this is awful, I don't know. But like, at the moment, I like, it's just been rough with like trying to catch up with school and everything. So yeah, like I'm doing this voiceover so late if it's supposed to be posted on Tuesday. Um, cause yeah, like I don't even have tomorrow's video recorded at all. So that just, I'm really behind. <laughs> I really need to catch up, but I don't know. It would probably be nice to record for the update, I guess. I think that would be lovely. Um, but yeah, like I have like short builds in my head. They're short builds. So like I have like three apartment builds in my head I don't know I'll probably say one of them one of them is supposed to be split into two apartments kind of fake just pretend um so I'm thinking about building in one of the bigger ones not not honestly not like two stories big I'm thinking like I don't know maybe medium sized is better of a word to use because yeah I don't know I just I'm trying to do like shorter builds because again like I'm so behind um, I'm gonna post this week a home, like a normal home that is just decorated for autumn, you know? So it's not like over the top, I feel, I think. Hopefully it's not over the top as like others. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really good at doing autumn themed homes. I know that's weird, but it's just the truth. I don't feel like I'm good at them, unfortunately. Also, when I was doing her swimwear, I was trying out those little flippers from Island Living that matches like the bodysuit or that is supposed to match the bodysuit, but they don't match. Cause I gave her the purple one, but the fins, they don't come in purple. They don't come in like a black and purple. They come in like a black and white, I think. Black and red, black and blue, but no black and purple. Why wouldn't you make it match? 
like that doesn't make any sense to me but we are at the end of the video hopefully i talked about everything that i wanted to um in a few minutes i will or minutes no just a few seconds i will be showing you their outfits so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and I hope you guys like these Sims. They will be up on my gallery at Sims Seaglishes. And I don't know, I just said that randomly. I don't know, I was doing my outro and then I was like, hold on a minute, it's gonna go up on the gallery at Sims Seaglishes. I don't know, anyways, I'm sorry. This is weird, I should go now. Um, But yeah, Um, I love you, you are important and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.